Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Let's go. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really going to start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. <sighs> you know... Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Throughout the day. Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. May I ask who's calling? Oh, of course. Put him through. Dr. Miller? Here, follow me. Welcome to Data. Data does not cross-tabulate with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? <laughs> you must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Thank you. 
Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Hear that, little bee wolf? You still get to pollinate another day, too. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep! Oh, yeah! Gotta protect the hive! Nice! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. What's that? <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, in no way. And wait a sec. It'll be quick. Oh my Dr. gosh, Doc, Connors. My friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. That's oh, awesome. they're studying the rocks. Full recalibration. Who's going to tell Nico? Not me. So much to see here. Plan to keep Where do I even start? Well, I didn't find the problem. Looks like it's on you. So you got rocks. This has to be the. Yeah, this is it. This gotta be it. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. as much as I can right now. Yeah. 
archives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Damn. Oh yeah, that's what I want to check. For medical organ transplants, far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. Wow. That's actually nuts. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. <laughs> Space research. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. A lot of stuff here. A lot of Easter eggs, too. We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Mm. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? It's okay. kind of too. I just the idea remember that. Is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting.
I think it becomes Goliath, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, to be honest. <laughs> okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. Damn. Uh -huh. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Doing everything, man. Man, Harry, this is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. Damn. What a good foreshadowing, dude. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh. One quick thing. <laughs> I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. Damn.
prison. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. Uh, but I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man. We were sure it was there. <sighs> Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Uh, littering? Come on, man. Take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh, my God, I finally did it. I have a stable career. <laughs> OK, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Whoa, is that a real gun that actually works? Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. 
You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay. <laughs> your boss another robot maybe I can test something out okay let's see sorry birdie this is just as awkward for me as it is for you <laughs> there should be a yep Is that your home? Come on, Birdie, let go! Come on! Not buy a ticket for this ride! Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? That oh, was actually lit. Hey, MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I want to find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop one of them away. You heard something. That's one. fast you find something two things this armed group calls themselves hunters and they've got a lot of access hmm. international mercenaries that's what I'm thinking could be front page material for your article I'm writing it up now thanks oh and speaking of work I accepted Harry's offer that's fantastic we should celebrate later after you're done with your current work totally talk soon That's a lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. Where did he recruit you? Alaska. I tracked poachers from the parks, but when I'd find them, I was harsher than my boss would have preferred. Sleep tight. Bruh. That's everyone. Now, what were they up to?
Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others. All around the city. I'll send this to Genki. But he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded. What are you using? Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. What's the I'm gonna fight someone real quick. You hungry too? Aw, <laughs> for me? You shouldn't have. <laughs> Sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, no way. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking feels operational. Beetles, talandrons, ammunition, rations. Hmm. Still missing some ship. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich. Or well connected. Or both. Craven to care so much about plants. I've seen him walk a hunter back from the brink of death before he carries in his pouches. He doesn't restrict himself with a straight jacket of modern medicine. That explains a lot. What do you mean? No man can have strength like his. Nothing more. That's what focus gives you. He knows nothing but the hunt. Perhaps if you focus more on yourself instead of others, you could be as strong too. Perhaps. Getting better at this, then. All right, where to next? Looks like this is the only way. A research lab? Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpower gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal, ugh, that's the Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Uh, even him too? Craven sure does his research.
Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa. And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. <laughs> Would you look at that? Seems like he's the boss of these guys. And he's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How about this? The main Craven wears. You know the story behind it? Didn't know there was one. There was some mine outside South. There was a man here who killed Craven's the author of his pride. And he tracked the liar. It took a few hours. Damn. When he finally got close enough to draw his blade, the lion was stronger, faster. It was only through luck that he managed to strike a killing blow. And the sensation before that moment. I know it. Raven had never been so good before. So he took that mane as a reminder. And like a bloodhound, he uses it to find him just as much as the man hunter. A true hunter. Quiet. I heard something. <gasps> you could use a break. He doesn't have any spirit left in us. Being locked away for so long. Ah. He's like a coiled viper. It's all in his file. Gargan was a born hunter. Lee, he was molded into one after all that madness with his parents. Vengeance gives us purpose. Encore ce bruit. False alarm. I heard something. How many more fires must we light out in the city? Yes, we need to. Craven said they surrounded him in his dream. But if he's dreaming, I feel it. The fires are fated to happen anyway. Why not no wait answer. for him? I will hit him for his turns, not fights. Copy that. Heading to the last node. Hey, get up. over now. Easy. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't. Never gonna win best in show with that attitude. <laughs> nice doggy, kitty, robot. Those teeth are no 
joke. Heal! Roll over! Play dead! Those teeth are no joke! Heal! Roll over! Play dead! Finally! I was wondering when Animal Control would show up! Oh, you can... Actually, now that you're here, question. What's Craven hunting? Maybe I can help. You won't live long enough to help anyone. Wanna bet? Craven hunts what man fears most. That's all you need to know. Oh, so he's hunting failure? Intimacy? Clowns? <laughs> it's clowns, isn't it? Good riddance, I say. putting together quite the team. This the best you can do. They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. What the hell? Really kill him? He's not teaming up with supervillains for some hunt. 
there is prey. Felicia. <laughs> 